Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. Day 5 of the Garland Moon, year 1157. Clear skies. I picked some flowers for her and returned home. The look of joy on her face at the sight of these flowers will be even more beautiful than the flowers themselves? Yeesh, that is enough. His entries from before your birth are full of such romantic blatherings as that. Oh, it must be deeply moving you to hear such things, but now is not the time for whimsy. Someone is here. You do not wish for them to see you in this state, so pull yourself together! I thought I might find you here, Teach. Not the type to wallow in solitude, huh? That's a relief, let me tell you. So, what were you reading? Is that Gerald's...? <laughs> so it is. Hey, maybe this has some entries from when Geralt left the monastery. Is that so? He was the captain of the knights, but something made him leave the monastery in a hurry. If it has something to do with your birth, knowing what happened may get us closer to knowing what secrets the church is hiding. Teach, would you mind letting me read that diary? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please allow me to borrow it. Wait, are you really saying I'm going to have to sneak in here in the dead of night to read it? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please, allow me to borrow it. I'm forever in your debt, Teach. If you'd refused, I would have had to sneak in here in the dead of night. I wasn't looking forward to the prospect. Anyhow, let me fill you in on what's been going on lately, and not just as thanks for pointing me to that diary. Rhea dispatched the knights to various locations in a frantic search for the enemy. There's a rumor that she's already secured some information. Something big is going to happen soon. That has me wondering. If you find out where the enemy is, what will you do about it? If you ask, I... No, scratch that. All of us students would gladly lend a hand. Even if that means going against Rhea's wishes. Don't forget it. Now go. Everyone's worried about you. You'd better show them you're in good spirits. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kranya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I'm always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Duska and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. Teach, Tomas, I mean Solon and his lackeys, their whereabouts have been discovered. 
Apparently, they're lurking in the sealed forest, not too far from the monastery. Rhea has called back all of the knights who were out searching to round them up. Seems like it could take some time for them to make it back here, but she didn't ask for our help. Perhaps to prevent you running headfirst toward revenge? It's only natural that you would leap at the chance for it. Anyone would. No. I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Listen, Rhea, and Lady Rhea, this move is the most strategic. The military strategy I'm devising will soon echo across Fodlin's history. I'm sure of it. Just think about it. Most of the knights are still far away, and we can't afford to have Sedeth and friends abandon the monastery. So the only person who can take action now also happens to be our best commander. It's Teach, and wherever Teach leads, we'll follow. And since you've taught us that this sort of thing is always a possibility, we're already prepared for battle. We can buy the knights more time, not for revenge, but for a defensive attack on behalf of the monastery. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. We have our orders, Teach. Now all that's left is to pull out a miracle. The sealed forest is up ahead. Visibility is awful there, so everyone needs to be extra cautious. You seem to know a lot about it. It is just a forest, isn't it? Have you been there too? Oh, never mind. Listen, just like I told the Archbishop, this is not a war of vengeance. It's a riddle, so to speak. Those guys are undoubtedly planning something terrible. We need some kind of clue as to what. The attack on the Holy Mausoleum, Flane's kidnapping, that foul business in Remire, the demonic beasts at the chapel. It can't go on. We need to figure out their objective and stop them from achieving it. That's our mission. So we have our mission now. We had better not fail. It is a difficult task, but we will succeed. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. An enemy whose objective you don't understand is a frightening prospect. We're gonna destroy him. It's our mission! I will have my revenge, whatever it takes. On that, I will never budge. Leone, you will have what you seek. I'll admit, vengeance sounds pretty nice. But don't forget that we're here for information. Luckily, we can easily find what we're looking for while getting revenge for Geralt. Right, Teach? How kind of them to welcome us with some demonic beasts. They're not playing around. Hello, you're here. Welcome to the Forest of Death. <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too with my own hands. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Monica, you'll pay for what you've done. I told you, I am not Monica. I am Kranya. Do not call me by that fake name. I don't care what you're called. I don't care if it takes my last breath. I'll kill you. Please, my powers are beyond your comprehension. You're just a filthy worm. Time to pay. vermin that have long infested it. Forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think, we almost had the sword of the Creator. I don't believe anything you say. Our professor is still alive. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. I refuse to believe that Teach would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. Hey, all I hear is good news. Teach is still alive. And if that's true, then there's only one thing to do. Defeat you while we wait for Teach's triumphant return. Prepare yourself. We will avenge our leader here and now. How trite. But if you wish for pain, I shall oblige. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. You fool! What were you thinking charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Uh, 
Apologizing won't make things right! This darkness is terrifying! As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have... ...to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass... ...then I shall disappear. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you. And you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do?
teach. You are teach, right? I always believed in you. I knew you could cut your way out of anything. Let's go ahead and take down Solon, and then we can reflect on what happened. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there! I have no time to waste on the likes of you. Wow, I put in more work than I realized. Done yet. I am maturing at a rapid pace. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission somehow. I guess this is still far from over. I'll be honest, when I lost sight of you, I broke into a cold sweat. But Gerald's killer is dead. All's well that ends well. You're kidding, right? I understood putting it off while we were in battle, but now that it's over, just go ahead and spit it out. That hair, those eyes, that unfathomable power. What happened out there? You mean to tell me that an entity who claims to be the goddess was living in your mind? And it's been that way since you were a baby? And this goddess entrusted all of her goddess-like power to you and then vanished? It's a difficult story to swallow, Teach. But the way you look now, I guess I've got no choice but to believe it. How could something like that happen? There must be a clue in Gerald's diary. If you believe the diary, there's a high possibility that Rhea did something to you when you were born. That's likely when all this began. What in the world happened to you as a baby? And what was Rhea after? Teach! What's the matter? Did you trip or... Wait. Are you sleeping? This must be an effect of the goddess's power. I wonder if Teach's body can handle the strain. Think, Claude. What now? Should I carry him on my back? <laughs> Easier said than done. In time's flow, see the glow of flames ever burning bright on the swift. Drift broken memories alight. Professor, you must remain still. Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away.
How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the Goddess. From the moment you took hold of the Sword of the Creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep. Just a while longer. I will be watching over you. Always. Always and forever. <laughs>